can it be? As your pups get older, and as these are the leading the uh, litter, uh, now naturally, Luna, her ears have come up. No need to pin, which is normally with Thai breeders. Uh, a thing they like to do, pin them up with surgical tape. Uh, we do it too. Lola? Who was the other one? Lola. Uh, this one. Lola. She's Lola. another black female with the ears gone up automatic. Yes. That's rave. One side up, the other side still flop. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> rave. Rave. Yeah. You to pin your ears? Yeah. One of, one of his ears is coming up. What happened is, normally that's happened is, if, if the puppy got a small ear, their ear will stand up by right. itself. Right. If they got a the big ear, they have to uh, encourage stand up, them. It's going to get longer yeah. to stand yeah. up by itself. Yeah, so you that's have to right. Them by yeah, you them do up. get a major characteristic in these Thai Ridgebacks where. The, some have big ears, some have smaller ears. Now, if you look at this fella down on the floor there, uh, Titan, notice what big ears he's got. But he's got all the characteristics of a uh, tie Ridgeback and he's a purple certificate which uh, enables... Uh, Anyone who gets a, a pup from uh, him and uh, a bitch uh, can show them. They can uh, show them. But no, no bloody interested in all that. Uh, you know, no need to groom these things. Let, let them live a natural life how they're supposed to. Don't molly coddle them and bloody wrap them up in cotton wool and take them off here, of take them off there, just just to make a name basically for yourself, not for the bloody dog. Mm. Yet the dog does get the certificates. But money, isn't it? Money. All about bloody money. Hmm. I'm telling you now, seriously, by the time we get all these fed up, injected, delivers and in that, not much in it at all. Because we want to give them the best bloody start. And to do that, you've got to give them decent food, not bloody cheap Charlie stuff. These get the best. Drink-wise, they're all on goat's milk. And uh, main food for all the pack is uh, Smart Heart. Quite an expensive food, but uh, no. We don't cut corners in uh, Encore Thai Ridgebacks. They get the best. And hence a lot of people come to us. Because they know, because you can see the full history of these dogs. The parents... Well, how they've come up, grown up in a natural environment. Someone said the other day, uh, it was mentioned uh, how uh, Titan is uh, quite outstanding. He is. He is. He's a bloody good fella, is uh, Titan. But it's separation time. He's not allowed to mix with uh, bread. And he's not allowed to mix, especially with Bobby. They're going a bit heavy-handed on him. Uh, and all he's doing is trying to be friendly. Yeah. Hey, hey, Titan, Titan. No. See, that's another characteristic of them. They do what they want. So there's a bit more footage. By the time you see this vlog... These lot here, along with uh, Titan, will have been to the vets for inoculations. Titan goes for his second rabies job. So everything's done correctly. We don't cut corners.
the downside for me getting rid of them mm. I'd keep the bloody lot but financially you can't can you and it's too much we we had a discussion uh, yesterday there'll be no more three litters at the same bloody time no no you know we we are learning it's a learning curve for me and mem we've only been at this four years but we've got the knowledge from certain parties you can see it on facebook and these so-called uh, people who are in the know as they say mm. Yeah, if you want to be in the know, you want to be running a pack like we are here in a natural environment. What do these dogs love to do? Hunt. They love to hunt. It's a natural uh, instinct. And probably the first natural instinct, guard duties. Guard duties, very protective of me and men and their surrounding areas. They'll go to the fence and they'll bark at anything they see over the other side. They'll not jump the fence or anything like that. All this bloody rubbish you'll see on Facebook about, uh, oh, Ty Ridgeback's fabulous jumpers. Oh, they can jump over bloody ten foot high walls. Aye. My indication to that is ah well they must be bloody unhappy and trying to get out. And you know what? I think I'm possibly bloody right. Well, here we are at the vet. And litter one have come for the uh, inoculation. And uh Trying to keep them from bloody falling out is another thing. Uh, heaviest fin. Uh, 6.3 kilos he was. And uh, there he is, there. By Joe, you little monkey. And... Uh, he is Titan, he's come for his uh, re second rabies jab. So, yes, I know, rave. Yes. And uh, Cordy, he was 5.8 kilos. Titan's going in for his rabies job. So you're all lively little chaps and chappesses. Yes, you are. There's uh, cinnamon. The females ranged uh, from about 4.7, 5.3. Rave was uh, 5.8, same as Cordy. Titan, 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 yeah, yeah, Titan, good boy. So there we are, uh, folks. 
we'll uh, I'll keep uh, control over these and uh, then we'll go and sort uh, Satan out, get him his bravest job and we'll head for home. So there you go, another little bit of an update. Couple of weeks and these will be ready to go. So, still a few available. Just to add this vet, very good vet. Very good indeed, he knows his stuff. He knows his stuff. He's quite familiar with the uh, Thai Ridgebacks as well, but not from this area. Further south. Mm -hmm. 